Hey there everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel Andrew Smith Music where I'm teaching beginners how to play guitar. In today's video we're going to be going over Who'll Stop the Rain by Credence Clearwater Revival. Let me know in the comments down below what's your favourite Credence Clearwater Revival song. The intro of the song goes like this. So to start we'll have the G and our rhythm and our strumming hand will be going down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then on that second down there, we go to the D. And then we play the E minor. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down on the D again. And then back to G. So with the chords, G, up, up. So to play verse 1, we have G for 2 bars, the C for 1 bar, and then back to the G for 1 bar. G. C. G. And then this repeats. G. C. G. So for the chorus, all the chords play for one bar each. We'll start from the beginning of the chorus. So we've got C. G. C. Then G. C. D. E minor. And then G. This then transitions into verse number 2. Verse 2 is nearly the same as verse 1, except this time we have an added B minor chord. If you're struggling with your bar chords, then I suggest you check out this video up here and then come back to the song. So our second verse is the same strumming pattern as before, so we have G. Once we've done that, we go into the second chorus, and this is just the same as the first chorus, so we have our C. After the second chorus, we have a little refrain. It's just the same chords, just in a different strumming pattern. So we'll just be using the C, G, E minor, and D. The first half of this refrain, we want to go C, G, and then D. So I'll play it through for you so we can see the strumming pattern. So we've got C, G, D. Again, C. Part of this, we're going to go E minor, C, E minor, and then finish on a D, and then back into the next part. All up, we have C, G, D, E minor, C, E minor, D, E. The song then goes into verse number three, which is the same as verse two. So we have that tricky B minor again. So we've got G. chorus of the song. So we've got C, G, C, G, C, D, E minor, and then G. The 
song then plays the intro chords again and fades out. So we'll have D. I highly recommend you check out this playlist over here for more acoustic guitar lessons. <laughs>